Hey MechWare, welcome back to Opal Plays MechWare 5. We're in the Gladius system, where we had our last episode. I got a couple multi-missions up here. That's against the clan, so that might be nice. The difficulty 93 in a multiple, it depends on how many missions. That's the bottom line. Because I don't feel comfortable with four missions right now. What I went ahead and did was uh, pulled all my mediums and my... Um, shoot, lights, out of the uh, active mech bay and uh, saved myself two million dollars per quarter for doing that, sea bills, but you know what I'm saying. Let's go up here to Chaffee and see how many missions that is and just how difficult the difficulty level is. Because I'm looking to burn the, uh, the bounty hunters, of course. Two mission operation at 900. Scorched Earth in a raid with a blizzard, which means I get lots of good stuff. Yep, 75% extra. 52 times 2 is nice. Extreme weather warning is in effect, Commander. You'll have limited visibility out there and have to contend with sensor malfunctions. Scorched Earth. So I want the Mauler in Bay 1. And I don't want the Night Star at all in part of this one. Instead I'll take this guy because he's good with the guns. Or has guns anyway. That should do me. Certainly got enough tonnage on the field. Consume a little bit of aiming fluid. We have been tasked with the destruction of an industrial center marked at Nav Point Alpha. Be sure to watch your fire around any pipes or tanks, as the contents have the potential of being explosive. Let's see if we get some mercenaries yep good deal Let's get some fighting room me four lights please Yeah, it wasn't gonna happen, was it? Don't over hit the target. Show me something special. Whoops. Ah, uh, okay, I got infernoed. Tell about the flames on me. This is gunman. That'll take care of him. Hopefully him is the guy that did the inferno. Don't look to be too torn up. Got my ECM on hmm, both the Kodiak and the uh, Carapace, huh? Do some long range damage. Let me, uh, oh wait, I already got it. You refocus on the target, get out get rid of these trees. Should be button four. Chain fire. It's a lot of recoil. We'll wait till we get up on top of this hill here.
Boy, it seems like it's really slow. That's a wonderful introduction. And we are going the wrong way to get out of here, aren't we? Turn that ECM off, finally. Get around to thinking about it. God, we are in fact playing for salvage, aren't we? Looks like the uh, Kodiak got uh, some good, good damage. But Wicked puts out good damage. Usually. Well, that didn't move much. How about this one? Slowly but surely. One third the way, almost. Fifty-two picks. And it's a multi-mission, so whatever I don't use, I throw back into the pot and pull back out again. That would give me a pair of Tier 4s. I do not know this mech. Or what the MG stands for. Hundred and forty four damage is not bad. The speed of course is zero because the engine's gone, but the engine was only a two eighty, so it was doing forty eight at best. This is supposed to be a longbow, but longbows are 85 tons, and this is a 100 tonner. Unless that was a patch I haven't seen yet. Or read about. That's a good mech, but... I don't need another, uh... LRM support mech. And I'm not liking its backup engines. Or weapons, I should say. A pair of ER smalls, and that's it. That's not going to guard anybody. ECM does a better job. 
but yeah. It looks to me like it gets all of its damage done by LRM-20s. So that's a lot of ammo. I'm going to let it go. Probably going to let them all go, to tell you the truth, and just buy them and cash them out. Though I am still looking for a good 55, and I keep thinking these shadow cats, and I keep forgetting the clan shadow cats are 45s. I don't need another one of them. Looks like it becomes time to just pick them or leave them. I'm going to cash that one in. Yeah, Wicked did the damage. Considering I did a lot of damage just poking the building. Wicked did a lot of damage. And because of that, the Kodiak's out of play. And I should be because my right side's not so good. Uh, but it's only, oh, it's 171 points of damage. So I will switch out. And I think I'm going to put myself in the Night Star. Put Wicked in Slepner. Which is actually starts with a C, not an S. And maybe let these two ride. Yeah, they got less than 40 points of damage each. We still gotta take out all the targets, don't we? decision wouldn't it? Hmm, can't see it. We wait for the uh Perhaps. Unfortunately, no mercenaries on the way in for this one. Doesn't mean they're not going to get them on the way out. Let's find out by getting to the way out. Communications towers yet. Yeah. 
Boom, boom, flash, flash. I know the target's back this way. Oh, they already got it. Additional forces are being deployed near you. Gonna be right with you, folks. That alpha strike. Oh, I still got one more, huh? Yeah, I know I'm leaving salvage all over the place. That's okay. I want to get distracted. bad news is now I gotta wait for my guys again once I go into combat mode I instantly punch the W button to get all the speed I can and that lends to separations right, there it is me running for the exit. Since Rihanna's there, I know it is the exit, not a this is Another one bites the dust. diversion for mercenaries coming down. Mad cat, huh? Ninety ton. Mad cat. Where's the rest of its stuff? Uh, a pair of LBX twenties, then SRM. So everything short range. Does a lot of damage for that, but that's what happened there. And why is this guy? Oh, it's got the fixed. Gauss. Oh, oh yeah. Armor piercing Gauss. It looks like that might be fun. And I got 69 picks, so we'll add that to the list right off the top. What is an SR? Stone Rhino again. For only 31? That is a steal. It could be because I beat the crap out of it. Now I gotta make a choice. I think I'm gonna stick with the stone rhino over the, the mad cat. How about an Ursus? And then all I can do is stuff. There's stuff. And that stuff says run off to a industrial hub. We'll try this one on Caledonia. And see what this area looks like. When we get done. It's only 19 minutes in and we got a lot done here so far. that up that I don't think I need any more of those 
especially out of pocket. But you never know. Okay, Ursus, 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 50 ton, 59. I just don't know. I'm trying to figure why that's got LRM 20s that aren't clean. In any case, like I said, a lot of ammo, six tons. Might as well take these two. I'll take that. But now what? Armor NSS has missing requirement. I got no idea what that means. Was it the slick I took? seven days. I'm going to save that one. I think, I think I'm going to rebuild it. Same here. Don't want you, need you to watch. I'm going to start doing that stuff offline. Um, looking at this as a replacement for one of my medium mechs. Looks pretty good. Used to have a 200 engine so that would get it up some speed. I don't know. Let it go. I still got a miss links over my cold by swords that I need to no 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 no. So that one. That one. Maybe this one. I usually don't like carrying mechs that are beat up. Okay, and then repair all. Let's see what else is out here. Nothing for the hair. I got a patrol there. I don't like them. Got a whole bunch right here. Battlefield, beachheads, all that stuff. Against the clan. So. Try this one first. That's nice. Sixty three picks. Heavy weather warning is in effect, Commander. Your visibility and sensor readings will be compromised out there. Hmm. something a little better than the uh, carapace for a beachhead. The LM 20s come in handy for when you don't know what you're going to face. But 
I don't want them messing with targets too far away, bringing them off the base. That's my story. We are the vanguard for an imminent invasion of the area. Your job is to eliminate any defending forces and capture the enemy fortification. Our employees can't land dropships until the satellite relays controlling air and orbital weapons are destroyed. Destroy them. This is going to be a complicated beachhead. Or I'm going to have to do it without allies. And I will not know if the mercenaries are coming until the very end when I need allies most. Probably should have jumped back into the mauler for this, but can't do it now, can I? No, I didn't bring it. Unfortunately, at 26 minutes in, this one's going to be a long, complicated one, folks. Feel free to skip ahead. Just running right through the base to get to that one. Thought there was another one over there. Close to the base. <clears throat> Other side of the mountain. Hill. Foothill. on the other side of the hill. Okay, sir. Sure, what's going on with that one? Roger that on guard. Roger that on guard. <clears throat> I've got it. So let's see. Down. Aye, sir. 
go take this back one and get the other one on the way to the final part of the mission. Boy, I had to rake that one. This is stringing out pretty good, despite the fact that I'm doing group speed. I'll take this one from the hilltop. Hopefully. Maybe. There we go. Same with this one, hilltop. <clears throat> That'll give plenty of time for the uh, allies to come landing. Hopefully. Lumber Company. Thank you. There's our promised support. Friendly dropship landing now. Alpha 1 1, this is Whiskey 6 1. Thanks for clearing out that AA installation. Heard you could use a little backup. We're on our way in. Stand by two mics. Whiskey 6-1, out. It'd be nice if they'd actually engage, but still they will come running towards us first. One of seven down, so. This is gunman. Vehicle trash. Let's queue them up. Loaded and firing. Rooster here. Dogger, he blew up good.
guess that one got in the way. So now I'll capture the base. Let the final wave come in and then see your first mercenaries after them. And it's probably not important, but I try to pick an open corner of the base for my last stand. It gives me options of seeing where the enemy mechs are and, and where the mercenaries are and try to get some separation between the two. They've gotten organized. Expect a large attack very soon. Yep. Commander, and for now, that's just it, yep. We're going to go this way to get away from the uh, clan mechs. Come on, just show me your dropship so I know where you are. Oh, they're behind them. Great. we got to go through the clan. going to be rough. And they went straight for him, so they don't have the benefit of the wall like I have. Got to keep them focused on clan. Or, I'm sorry, on mercenaries. Ouch. That was Inferno's. A longbow. Ooh, he's gonna burn me up too. Worth it. Had to kill that guy. He literally took me out of the fight. Good, now we can kill these guys. did it without me or to spike me all stations this is Sierra 11 be advised we've just completed re-entry lights are green drop ships can now land Sierra 11 out Hmm, almost halfway. 63 picks. Another gargoyle. Of course the engine's blown because that's what I was shooting. The questions are 26 picks worth that, uh, those weapons. 28 picks. And then, of course, the money you get after you strip it. The, uh... I got one of these in my uh, arena lance now. I changed out the 4s for 6s and the 20s for 10s. And then heat sink the heck out of it. and It's a pretty good one. But to tell you the truth, I'm feeling a little green at the gills right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some quick picks and end this episode as quickly as I can. Must have been something I ate. Folks, that's it for this episode. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. 
And uh, hey, come back for more. Hope is out.